Hi guys, here's Jika Bunny here. So today's video is going to be my Anime Expo 2015 convention vlog and haul. Because <laughs> I did buy and get quite a few things this time. So first I think I'll do a little bit of a rundown of the con and then I'll show you guys the stuff I got. So this year I think um, they worked out a lot of the issues from last year, especially with registration pickup because I was able to walk up to pre-reg, no line whatsoever. Um, on like four hours minimum last year. So definitely was happy that they fixed that. Um, I do think that there was more people there this year considering I was looking for people and I could hardly find anyone this weekend. And so if you couldn't find me, I am not surprised. It was really hard trying to find people. Um, even if you knew where to meet up, it was just insane this year and it gets busier every year. Um, with this being only my second AX, um, I'm still always like kind of overwhelmed at how many people are there because um, Vegas cons are really, really, really small in comparison. Um, so I had some fun times with this AX, although I do think that last year I had a bit more fun just because it was brand new experience for me, like just all the wonders of this ginormous convention that I've heard so much about and being there. And there was more Sailor the Moon things happening last year, so I think that was also part of it. Um, but this year was really fun because I got to have my best friend with me. I reunited with my waifu, <laughs> um, who I haven't seen in like a year. It's been way too long. So it was really awesome getting to spend the weekend with her and it made it that much more special. Um, so on Thursday, my cosplay was Just Be Friends Luca from Vocaloid, which if you haven't um, seen that video or you haven't heard the song, it's a really good song, but the video and the lyrics are actually really depressing. Um, but yeah, so I cosplayed Luca and my best friend cosplayed as the guy from the video, so it was really fun to cosplay with her again. And um, we did get song pictures together because most people didn't know who we were. They're just like, oh, you guys are cute. So um, I'm hoping I can find those and then share them with you guys and I would really 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 like to do an actual shoot based off of the video um, hopefully sometime in the near future because I think that would be a lot of fun um, and we didn't get there to like actually to the convention till about 3 o'clock that day because that's the day that we both traveled to LA and got checked in the hotel and it was just long 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 day <laughs> um, so we weren't at the convention very long and then that night we um, went to Little Tokyo and I was really excited because I got to wear my Liz Lisa um, coordinate that I bought in um, Japan which you guys either probably seen on my social media um, if you guys follow me otherwise you will be seeing it in my Japan um, haul vlog that is coming up very soon um, and if you haven't seen my Japan videos, go check those out. <laughs> and then um, Friday was a really early day because we had to get up for the Sailor Moon panel. And so I wore my Usagi um, school uniform cosplay that I also got in Japan. Um, and it was a lot of fun going to the panel. Just the vibes were really magical and it was really exciting to see some Sailor Moon friends and fans and just all oh, so cool. Um, and they did some really cool announcements there, which um, if you guys haven't seen it already, I did upload the video um, that I took off my iPod <laughs> um, from the panel, um, some of the highlights, um, some of the brand new casting announcements, including the Outer Guardians and Professor Tomoe. And yeah, it was just really exciting. And um, I'm really sad I missed out on the autograph session though, because by the time I got out of the panel, it was already sold out. So kind of sad. But I did get to meet the full cast um, of the 5 Century plus Tuxedo Mask last year and have them sign my poster that I got, so yay. <laughs> but it would have been cool to see them again. Um, so that was the highlight pretty much of Friday. And then about halfway through Friday, um, I wasn't getting a lot of pictures in Usagi, which I'm not used to when I'm Sailor Moon, so it's kind of like it threw me for a loop a little bit. I was like, I want to get more pictures. So, um, I uh, changed into my Super Sonico, uh, which I had to get more pictures in her as well. Plus, I only have a couple pictures of that cosplay from Otakon Vegas earlier this year, which is the first con I wore it at. So, I haven't found any Sonico pictures yet, but I'm hoping to find some. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> um, but she was fun to wear, except I kind of do regret it a little bit because heels, and then the next day I had to wear heels. Um, for Panty from Panty and Stocking. Um, so yeah, day three Saturday was Panty and Stocking Day. So me and my best friend were Panty and Stocking and we uh, did their cop versions this year. And it was really fun because we were sparkly and um, I've been wanting to do these cosplays for three years now and so we finally got to do them and it was just the most awesome day and it was so fun and Panty and Stocking were so well loved. Um, we even got roses <laughs> from a really cute girl and I was just like, oh my goodness, thank you, you know, like, People loved it and I, I was like, this is totally worth the wait, you know? Um, and we got the most pictures for sure in Panty and Stocking. I'm buying Panty and Stocking pictures 
um, galore, but I'm hoping to find some Usagi, um, Sonico, and Luca pictures. Um, so Saturday we just kind of hung out and tried to find people, and I found quite a few people on Saturday, so I was happy to see some people that day. Um, and if I missed you, I'm sorry. It was so crazy um, trying to locate everybody and just... Oh, Anime Expo is like so crowded. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then so I couldn't go Sunday because I had to leave Sunday um, afternoon. Um, and I was really sad because I wanted to go to the Evangelion event this year. Um, so pretty much that's the rundown of the convention. I just want to go through it really quick to so let you guys know what cosplays I wore in case you didn't know. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys what stuff I bought <laughs> and the stuff I got for free. Alright, so now on to the haul part of the video. So there was actually quite a few free things that I was able to get. Um, this year, I don't remember how much free stuff I got last year, but I feel like it was more this year for some reason. Um, so, when you get your Anime Expo badge, which I'll show you guys now, um, I actually really love that they did plastic badges this year. They're way nicer in my opinion. They're just a lot more sturdy and they just look way more professional. Um, and we also had, it broke now, but, um, we had also, it came with the Persona, um, for Dance Night thing, um, on the badge. Um, within the badge, we got... And some of the stuff I didn't include because I just wasn't excited about it. But we got a really cute Crunchyroll fan that has Crunchyroll Hime. And this, which I thought that was an excellent idea um, on Crunchyroll's behalf because people are going to get warm, you're going to have a bunch of people, and it's a great way to promote your brand. <laughs> so I'm actually really happy to have this because I love Crunchyroll. And then um, I don't remember if it was in the bag too or if I got it at the Crunchyroll booth, but I got um, a Crunchyroll Hime sticker. And then from Good Smile, um, I got a Sakura Miku sticker, and I love Sakura Miku, one of my favorite um, outfits of hers. And then the other thing that they put in, like they called it the swag bag, um, is a Dragon Ball um, air freshener, which it's the four, four star Dragon Ball, which is the one that I usually recognize as being um, really iconic. Um, I don't know what this smells like because I'm kind of waiting to open it because I have a nice one in my car right now. So when that one goes out, I'll be opening this. But I thought this was really cool because what person does not want a Dragon Ball air, uh, Dragon Ball air freshener? Because it's just awesome. Um, so some other free stuff I got that was not in the, um, like the convention, um, registration spy bag that I just got from these. I got this cute calendar, um, from Pony, Pony Canyon? Oh, Pony Can. Um, I think, yeah. Um, Pony Can and their animes that, um, are included are multiple, but the ones that are recognized are Yuki Unit is a hero, which I have not seen, but I have heard of, and the Magical Boy anime, which name I'm not sure, because I can't. Cute High Earth Defense Club. I just know it's a magical boy anime, which is I still need to watch. But I thought this was cute. This goes from July 15, 2015, so this current month, up into February 2016. So I thought that was kind of cool that they incorporated, um, you know, having it start um, at the convention time and then going through the next year. So I actually will be using this calendar because I don't have one. Um, and then some other free things I got. Um, there is a booth that handing out these cute little samples. I'm excited to try these. Um, these sour gummies, um, flavored in grape, peach, and strawberry. And I'm excited to try the peach one the most because peach is one of my favorite fruits. Um, and, oh, yeah, also, I don't know if you guys could tell when I showed you the badge, but we had Dragon Ball Z lanyards this year, which, of course, with, you, you know, like, the new, uh, Dragon Ball Z F, Resurrection F, um, coming out, you know, great way to promo the show and whatnot. And they also had a giant Shenron, um, in the South Hall, which I didn't take a picture of, and I meant to, but I'm sure if you guys have looked at Anime Expo anywhere on the internet, you've seen it, which is really, really cool and kind of made me wish I would have taken my Bulma cosplay. Unfortunately, I did not. Um, also, free things that I did get um, include the Sailor Moon event, um, which this year um, you had to do a scavenger hunt, so it was kind of similar to the Stamp Rally last year, except not quite. I ended up losing my card after I did um, Pluto's part, um, and I just never really got around to doing it. What I really didn't like um, this year, and I actually talked to the, some of the um, Sailor Guardians that were um, part of this, um, is instead of having them stationed at specific booths this year, um, minus Sailor Pluto, they had Mercury and Mars and Jupiter and Venus wandering around, so you had to find them. So if you couldn't find your friends and you had an established meeting spot, good luck finding the wandering Sailor Guardians trying to get your stuff. Um, so I only completed like half the quest, <laughs> and I feel really bad because I wanted the stuff this year, but I was like, you know what, I don't have the time nor the patience, so 
maybe next year if I go, I'm not too sure. Um, but I did uh, manage to get this um, really cute, I'm gonna try and zoom with my camera here. Um, maybe, maybe, there we go. Um, the Crystal Star Brooch um, for Sailor Moon R. I think that's being held up right. I hope so. Um, this was if you went to the panel. So only if you got to, if you went to the same panel, you could complete the entire thing. Um, but I got that one, which is the one that I wanted um, for sure. And then I got um, the time key. So the two that I'm missing is one of Luna and one of Artemis. And then also they were giving out a lanyard and I can't remember what the other, there was something else. And also when you got your little card, um, you did get a or tiara that you can wear which I thought was actually a really freaking cute idea, so. Skinny Colette, I'll shake ya. Yeah, so I should just wear this for the rest of the video, huh? Let's just do it. Does that look okay? Oh gosh, that's, no. Okay, okay. All right, so good enough, right? <laughs> so also, um, if you went to the panel, you got this gorgeous cinnamon art poster. I adore the promo artwork that they're using. It's just the most beautiful stuff. Um, and I, it's just, I really, I really, really love it. Um, and then here's the back, which says, A New Awakening to Perfect protect the future Sailor Moon R and it's advertising the DVDs that are going to be coming out. Um, I do have mine coming from Right Stuff in a couple weeks I think. Um, so I'm excited to get that. But this is um, if you were going to go to the autograph saying you would have them say this. Um, kind of similar to how they did it last year and I'm looking at the poster that I had done last year. I was very very lucky to be able to get in that autograph signing. It just magically happened. Um, okay so I think that's it for like free things that I got. So now I'll show you guys stuff I actually spent money on. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with um, some of the artwork that I purchased. I totally do not remember which artist this is and if I go through the business cards I have and I figure out who's that this is, I will post it down in the description. But I got this absolutely beautiful Salem and poster piece. Um, I fell in love with it. Um, just because it has everybody from S, um, or I guess this might be Super S, didn't see it Super. I'm not quite sure, but it has all ten of. Well, oh, no, it doesn't have. Yes, it does have Pluto. And it has that. Okay, it has everybody. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm still a little bit uh, trying to recover from the con. I'm a little out of it. Sorry, guys. Um, but it does have all ten Senshi, and um, it's really, really hard to find merch with all ten of them on it. So. I uh, wanted it, and the, just the art style, I adore. It's beautiful, and I'm really, really excited to find a place for this on my wall so you might see it in future videos. Um, and then I was literally jumping with excitement when I found the booth because I'd kind of been searching for it for the first two days, and then I finally looked up the booth number. My, oh, she's seriously like one of my favorite artists, like, I think ever. And she's done all of my, really all of my favorite characters, I think, at this point. And she is just so talented and I love her distinct style and it's just so beautiful. And I had to get Starfire because, well, you know. But um, this is from Sakimi-chan and if you have not seen her artwork, I'm going to post a link down to um, some of her things in the description below. But she's incredibly talented and she just... Her stuff is so beautiful, I can't even take it. <laughs> it's so amazing. And I just, I was so, so, so happy and felt really, really lucky to um, catch her where she had a booth because I didn't know that she was ever gonna really like sell her work. I was just like admiring it online and going, I want this on my wall. Um, if I could like have these as wallpaper, I probably would. But this Starfire piece, I just, I couldn't pass up. She also had Panty um, and Usagi, which I kind of was like hesitating on, but I was like, don't have enough money left so I only got Starfire but Starfire is the one I really 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 wanted so very happy to have it and I actually got her to sign it for me so that was really really cool um and there was one other artist that um me and my friend searched Artist Alley so many times and I could not refine this booth but they had a really cute say their V print which I plan on purchasing in the near future because I do have their card but for some reason I just forgot to look up the booth number so we were wandering trying to find it never could find the dang thing so I was really sad um but I was like I spent enough already we're all good um okay and then other things I love to support artists because you know a lot of these big companies get profits kind of all the time but a lot of these artists really do need the conventions um so I got from one of my favorite people and companies um hello cavities Jeez, dropping the cards um Hello Cavities, um, also known as 
uh, Sheridactyl Arts. Um, and I've been following her stuff for a couple years now, and this is the second time I've purchased from her. I bought this really cute alpaca bag. Um, it's rainbow alpaca. I love her art so much. It's all cute, and you really can't go wrong with buying anything from her. And what I really liked about these bags was that, you know, you have a big zipper pouch, you can use it for multiple things, but there actually is a smaller zipper with a smaller pouch inside. So that's really nice, like, if you want to use this for a makeup bag or um, for... Um, school supplies or anything really like this is just really cute um, and I really want to buy more um, also I bought from her um, one of her mermaid delight stickers I bought one of her mermaid delight packs when she was doing the sets um, I think a couple months ago and I have a smaller one of the mermaids um, on my MacBook and I uh, wanted to get another one because this is the other design that I really like so I bought this um, big sticker and then also from her booth, because she's a sweetheart, she allowed me to get a free button, so I chose one of her new pieces, which is this Mew. Um, I love Pokemon, and Mew's one of my favorites, and it's super cute. I love her stuff. You guys should definitely check her out. I do have links to her Etsy um, in the description. Um, and I guess I'll, I'll keep my camera zoomed out because I'm going to show you guys stuff up close anyway. Um, I One of my favorite brands, which I actually did not go to um, one of their stores in Japan when I was there, which I should have. Um, we stopped by um, Galaxy, and Galaxy makes some really cool stuff. Um, if you're into like Harajuku style fashion, I'm sure you'll love them. Um, but Galaxy, a couple years ago, actually kind of when the anime first came out, did a collaboration um, with Panty and Stocking. So that was the day we were painting the stocking, and I was, uh, like, we were besides ourselves. The um, designer for Galaxy um, wanted to take our picture, he took our picture, and now he's following me on Twitter, and I'm freaking out, but um, it was so exciting, because I was like, oh my gosh, like, you want our picture? I feel so, like, loved, thank you. Um, but it was really cool. So they didn't have the shirts, because I was like, if you guys have the shirts, I'll buy them all right now. But um, I did buy the uh, panty button from them, which is, um, they also have the guy next to you here. So, yay, panty! It's really hard to find panty and stocking merchandise, um, unfortunately, because it never really got that popular in Japan, which is silly. Um, and then here's a Galaxy Flyer. I just, I really love their stuff. It's really cute. I need to buy, like, actual clothes from them one of these times. Um, okay. And then, I think we're almost done, guys. I'm really surprised. I thought I bought more stuff. Maybe I did and I can't find it. I'm still in the middle of unpacking. Um, but, oh yes, this is one of my um, favorite things I bought this weekend. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't know what to buy from them. Because again, this company I just discovered at the con this weekend. And I'm definitely going to be purchasing more from them. It's like really cute things. Um, they are called um, Kawaii Core. Um, and I bought this necklace because this is just so me, um, and I don't know if you guys can read that, but it's a sassy life. Um, I, I'm just a sassy kind of girl, and I just <laughs> thought it was perfect, um, for me, and I just thought it was absolutely cute. And I decided to go with these color schemes because it seems really fun. I really like the font they use, I'm like super into laser cut jewelry lately, and, um, so I'm excited to wear that. And then I also got these really cute um, aqua um, kind of mint color, which is like my favorite color, angel wing hair clips. So these will have to go with some sort of outfit, but I thought they're cute um, to wear. Yeah, so cute things galore. I, I tried to get either like art or stuff I could wear this time because I was like, I don't need plushies. I really don't need figures, but um, Okay, as I'm looking around, I am pretty sure that's all I bought. Okay, so, um, if that's not all I bought and I magically remember stuff, um, you'll probably see it on Instagram. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so, um, this is it for my video, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you were at Anime Expo and you said hi to me, thank you. I enjoy meeting you guys. It's always a lot of fun to meet my followers and put a face to the name. And um, yeah, if you see any pictures of me that I haven't noticed, um, please let me know. Um, it always it's fun after conventions to try and find pictures. Oh, and um, I got to do a really uh, cool photo shoot with Penny and um, talking, and I'm really excited to share those photos with you guys, so make sure you follow my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you aren't already, if you're interested in following my cosplay stuff and life and things. Um, so I'll be work working on more Japan vlogs. I've got another one I'll probably be uploading later this week. Um, I've got a 
five. Let's see this block. I've got like four or five more of those, including my haul video. I'm also going to be making some other videos coming up soon. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching uh, and subscribing and commenting and liking and being nice people. <laughs> I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so I'm rambling now and I will go. See you guys again soon. Bye!